In our previous tangent video, we talked a little bit about how the uh, tangent always forms a right angle with the radius as long as they come together at the point of tangency. Uh, in this part, we're going to take a look at what happens when we have two tangents that meet uh, the circle at uh, two different uh, points of tangency and they also come together uh, down at a, at a point uh, down here, a common sort of intersection point outside the circle. <clears throat> when that happens, uh, something very interesting occurs uh, that this segment and this segment are exactly the same. All right, so the rule is if two tangents, if two lines are tangent to the same circle, if they meet at a point outside the circle, then they are congruent themselves. So if that's eight inches, so is this. <clears throat> so let's do a few examples and we'll see how to apply this thing. Number one. <coughs> Number one has, let's see, we're going to assume that these are tangents. So that's a point of tangency. And that's a point of tangency. This is a right angle. This is a right angle. And the rule says that this is congruent to this. So what you do is you say 3x minus 7 equals x plus 11. And let's see, to solve this thing we're going to uh, subtract x from both sides. We get 3x minus 1x is 2x. Minus 7 equals, these cancel, 11. We'll add 7 to both sides, add 7 to both sides. So we get 2x equals these cancel 18 and finally we'll divide by 2 divide by 2 we get x is 9 and if we wanted to plug that back in right here if we put 9 right there the whole thing is 20 and if we put 9 right here 3 times 9 is 27 27 minus 7 is 20 so that works out number 2 All right, same deal, right? We have two tangents meeting at a common point out here. So that means that this is congruent to this. So take their expressions, set them equal to each other. 4x squared minus 1 equals 399. We're going to add 1 to both sides. So we get 4x squared equals 400. We're going to divide by 4 on both sides. So we get x squared is equal to, let's see, what is that, 100. Take the square root of both sides, we get x is equal to the square root of 100. And uh, that actually has two answers, positive 10 and negative 10. So uh, we'll, we'll actually a lot of times just write it like this, positive and negative 10. All right, and check back to make sure that the negative value here isn't isn't sort of extraneous. So we'll just check it back in here. Four times negative ten squared minus one. Negative ten squared is actually positive one hundred minus one. So that's four hundred minus one. That's three ninety nine. That equals three ninety nine. So that works. The positive one works as well, but a lot of times the the negative uh, root is not going to work in these expressions because you can't have negative side lengths, but in this case it's squared, so that works fine. Number three. A little bit more of a complicated example here. We have three points of tangency and three tangents all forming a, a circumscribed triangle. All right, and the rule is um, that you take this guy right here, which is 8.5. 8.5 only goes from here to here. All right, that's 8.5. If that's 8.5, over here is 8.5 as well. This guy is 8.5. All right, so these two segments these are tangents, these are congruent to each other. All right, now, the whole segment over here is 12, or excuse me, is 17.5. And I know that the red thing is 
0.5. So I have to do a little subtraction. This right in here is going to be 17.5 minus 8.5. So, right, so that's going to be, let's see, what is that? 9, right? 9 plus the red one, 8.5, is equal to 17.5. So if that's 9, this is 9 over here as well. These are congruent. And that leaves me with this segment right in here and this segment right in here to figure out. And we'll use uh, the same strategy. The whole thing is 12.7. From here to here is 12.7. Take away 8.5. So 12.7 minus 8.5. So that's 4.2. This is 4.2. If that's 4.2, this is 4.2. Right, because these two are congruent to each other. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically how to find all the missing segments. A lot of times the question is going to ask you for the perimeter of the entire shape, of the entire uh, triangle all the way around. So they're looking for how far would it take you to walk around this thing. All right, and your job then simply is to take all three segments and add them together. So if I start here and I start walking this way from this corner to this corner is 17.5 then I turn this way and I go to this corner add those two together it's 13.2 and then I turn this corner and walk back to where I started and that's another 12.7 So the entire perimeter, uh, let's see if I can do this in my head, these two added together is 30.7, so 30.7 and 12.7, that's 43.4, and that's in units. <clears throat> Alright, so the most common, um, sort of common mistake that I've seen, let me erase all this stuff. Let me point out to you a very common mistake here. And I want you to be careful not to make this mistake. The most common mistake is to assume that this length right here is the same as this length right here. They are not. All right, so be very, very careful with that. We already said that over here is 8.5 which means down here is 9, which means over here is 9. Notice that the congruency doesn't extend this way, but rather it extends this way, from sort of side to side like that. A common mistake would be to think that this is 9, because this is 9. It doesn't work that way. All right, very common mistake. Be careful. All right, let's move on to number 4. This is our last one. Uh, this is a uh, circumscribed quadrilateral. It's a quadrilateral that is formed from four tangents to this same circle. So first things first, let's point out the misconception. Don't just automatically put a 10 right here. Remember the congruency doesn't extend this way. It doesn't go across the tangent, the point of tangency, but rather it goes this way. So this is 10 right here. All right, this guy is 7.2, which means this guy is 7.2. All right, that means over here is the whole thing 11.6 minus 7.2. 11.6 minus 7.2. And that's 4.4, .4, which means this guy is 4.4. .4. All right, moving around here, we have the whole segment is 13. 13 minus. 4.4, so we're going to go 13 minus 4.4, we'll turn it into a 12, that's a 10, this is an 8.6, 8.6 is right here, which means this is 8.6 as well. Alright, again, they might ask you for the perimeter, so all you're going to want to do is position yourself somewhere, and we're going to walk all the way around this quadrilateral and see how far we've gone. 
So let's go this way. Let's go 8.6 plus 10 is 18.6. Then we're going to go this way. 10 plus 7.2 is 17.2. And then we're going to go this way. That's 11.6. And then we're going to go this way, and that's 13. And add all those together. So let's see, these two is uh, 35.8. These two is 24.6. Add these two together now. It is, let's see, it's uh, 59 plus 1.4, 60.4 is the perimeter. All right, so that was tangents part two. A little different than the first part of the tangents lesson, but you know, the reason I broke the videos up is because they addressed two very, very distinct skills.